Hey, world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice when it comes to math, I totally have your back and I will point you in the direction of some more videos at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is drum roll multi select so let's not waste any more time let's get to it and let me teach you all right third grade here is your problem this week so go ahead and pause the video try this one on your own first then come on back to check your work Welcome back third grade, let's go over this one. So this one says to select all the letters that have exactly one line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is when you can make, create a line and if you were to fold on that line, you would have mirrored images on both sides, mirrored images on both sides. So when we're looking at this, we have the letter D and the letter D has a line of symmetry right here. So if you were to fold those two halves together, like top to bottom, they would have mirrored images. So yes, this one has exactly one line of symmetry. For the letter R, how many lines of symmetry did you find? It should be zero. There are zero lines of symmetry, so we can eliminate that one. All right, looking at the letter M, how many lines of symmetry did you find? One is correct. It would be right here. Is that what you had? All right, if it is, great. If not, go ahead and make that correction. And also, we need to make sure that we select that one. For the letter S, how many lines of symmetry did you find? All right, it is actually zero because if you were to create a line going straight down and fold it, they would not be mirrored images on each side. The same would be true if we went from side to side right here. It kind of looks like there could be lines of symmetry, but if you were to actually fold it, they would not match up. So for the letter S, we can eliminate that one and there are zero lines of symmetry. Now, how about this letter H? How many lines of symmetry did you find? Okay, let's see. Well, there is one right here. If you were to fold right there, that would be, and there is one going from side. Oh, I'm a little high, a little low side to side. So there's actually two lines of symmetry for this one, which means, can we select this answer? No, because we're looking for answers that have exactly one, one line of symmetry. And H has two, so we can eliminate that one. So your answers are D and M, the first and third choice. Go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make, and then when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you all check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, more confident with something, then you have got to make intentional time to practice. And while you're practicing, it's important to throw down your very best effort. That way you can get better over time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really kicks in when you start to believe in yourself. I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye-bye.